Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Notes from the Sewing Room. My name's Becky. Today's video is the second part of my Christmas gift ideas video. I've got lots of things to tell you about, 10 ideas to be precise, so all different things that you can sew and craft before the big day. I've put together a few of my favourite gift ideas that you can sew and craft for Christmas this year that you can either keep for yourself or you can give to friends and family. So hopefully you're going to really enjoy some of the ideas that I've got and you're going to be able to start to make those over the next few weeks. I don't know about you but I can't believe how quick time is going at the moment. It's only actually a few weeks till Christmas and I still feel like I've got loads of things to do. So hopefully these gift ideas are going to be a little bit helpful for you. If you are looking for fabric inspiration as well, I've got a fantastic discount code for you so you can get free postage and packing on any orders from Crafty So and So. So do stay tuned until the end of the video and I'm going to tell you what that discount code is and what date you have to use it by. Now like I said this is the second part of my Christmas gift ideas video so if you haven't seen part one then please do check back onto my channel after you've watched this video and have a look at the previous video as well. If you are unfamiliar with my channel, my channel is all about my sewing and craft adventures so if that's something that does interest you please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all of my latest content. All of the different ideas that I've got in today's video are for different levels of sewing abilities and take different amounts of time so hopefully there's something in here for everyone. I've tried to include a range of different things including free templates that you can download online, free tutorials and some kits that you can buy as well. I am going to include all of the links below in the comments section to everything that I mentioned in today's video so if you do fancy taking part in any of the particular craft projects then do check below and hopefully you can find the link just down there. You may notice I have got my laptop to the side of me today and that's because I don't want to forget about anything that I wanted to tell you about. Now the first thing that I wanted to tell you about is a festive doorstop. Who doesn't love a doorstop? They can be used all year round so why not make one in the shape of a Christmas pudding? I just think that would be so cool to give to friends and family. It won't take too long to make and it doesn't use many materials either and of course it could add a little bit of festive cheer to any room in the house. I think this is going to be a fairly low cost project to make. It doesn't take very many fabrics. You could use fabrics that you've already got in the house. You could use felt perhaps if you wanted to. The Stitch Sisters have actually put together a really helpful video tutorial and they've got some templates that you can download to make this project. So I will put the link to that below but in terms of what you would fill it with you could use something like rice uh, that you might have in your kitchen cupboard at home. So hopefully that's something that would be really useful and if you didn't make it a Christmas pudding design you could change it up and do something completely different maybe you could make a house door stop or one in the shape of an, your favourite animal or something like that. There's lots of different um, online templates and uh, tutorials and things for this kind of thing, but my favourite one at the moment is this Christmas pudding design. Idea number two is to make some festive bunting or a festive garland. These can be designed in all kinds of different ways. You could do it in the shape of a snow character, you could make a gingerbread man themed one, you could do them with Christmas trees, you could do them with straightforward triangles of course if you're making bunting, you know, whatever takes you fancy. If you were looking to um, find a tutorial. The Stitch Sisters have put together a great video tutorial and they've got some free templates that you can download for a Christmas tree shaped garland which is great. There's also another one uh, which is a kit that you can buy from Crafty So and So. They've got a gingerbread man themed uh, garland which I think is great. They've also got a retro Christmas lights design which I thought was really cool and something again that you could bring out year after year and something um, that you know is, is, is really you know reusable for years to come. Now I've been trying to think of things that are actually really practical that you could give people for Christmas gifts and things that I would potentially enjoy receiving myself. So idea number three is to make a sleeve or a cover for an iPad or laptop. I think this would be really a practical gift that you know is suitable for all members of the family or all friends that you may have. Most of us do regularly use some kind of mobile device so a really fun case would make it a, a, a beautiful present and um, you know you could change up the design however much you wanted to and of course that the way that you would close your case in terms of you could have a, a button closure you could um, stick the top closed with velcro you could put a zip on there you could leave it open it's entirely up to you it really depends on the time that you have available and of course the materials that you have in your stash at home so so easy.com have put together a roundup of their favorite tutorials and templates that you can download 
for this type of project. I'm going to put a link to that below. There's some really cool ones on there. One of my favourite ones is to sew a wool iPad case. So if you have got some uh, old, you know, wool from, uh, you know, something perhaps that you've made before that you don't want anymore, something you could upcycle, or even just a, a scrap piece of wool fabric, this would be an ideal project to use up those scrap pieces of fabric and make a beautiful gift at the same time. Now I don't know about you, but at this time of year, there's nothing I love more than putting on a cozy pair of slippers, my pajamas, and getting a nice blanket and snuggling up in front of the TV. So idea number four is to make some cozy slipper boots. Slipper boots are a great handmade gift for all of the family. Depending on what fabric you use, you could use a festive fabric to make them really Christmassy, or you could just use you know, any other kind of colorway that you've got in your, in your fabric box already to make sure that they could be worn all year round. Tilly and the Buttons have got a great tutorial on their website of how to make some slipper boots, and also Crafty So-and-So have actually got an online class as well that you can join if you wanted to make slipper boots. I think that's taking place in early December. To make the slipper boots, you're gonna need a few different fabrics, including a medium to heavyweight fabric for the outside. Something like sweatshirting, a woven cotton or fleece would work great. And of course, you'll need some kind of cozy lining as well. So that could be a faux fur fabric. Again, you could use a fleece, you could use a velour. There's lots of different things that you could do really. But I just think they would be super, you know, snuggly to wear, perfect for, you know, the cold winter weather and something that's really practical as well. If you've got time, you could even make a matching pair of pyjamas perhaps to go with it or maybe even a dressing gown. Idea number five is also a very practical gift that I think is so useful, something that I absolutely love. I've got loads of them and that is a zip bag. Zip bags, of course, can be used for lots of different purposes. You could use it as a makeup bag, you could use it as a clutch bag, you could use it as a bag to put your lunch in to take to work. There's lots of different um, functions that you can use a zip bag for depending on the shape and size that you make it in. This is another great project for if you wanted to use up some scrap fabric that you've got or just, uh, you know, you wanted to upcycle something else from, from your house or you wanted to get perhaps some festive fat quarters from your local craft shop and make, you know, a festive little zip bag for someone. Again, there's lots of free uh, templates and tutorials online for this type of project, but one of my favorite ones at the moment is a free one that the Stitch Sisters have got. They've got a little class on their website, which uh, you just have to um, create a, a login and go in there and you can put together your own little pleated zip bag, which looks really expensive, I think, when it's actually created, but you would have made it yourself and it would be a fairly inexpensive gift to make yourself at home. The project on the Stitch Sisters website has got little patchwork pleats, which look so pretty. And also the best thing about this project is you can get this done in less than an hour. So it's great if you're short on time and you still want to do something that's really special for someone. I did also, when I was looking online for suitable projects for kind of bags and things that I thought you might enjoy making, there's a few other templates that you can download from Love Sewing Magazine and also Sew Magazine as well. So I'm gonna put those links below because you may also find those useful. Idea number six is to make some kind of quick tote bag or a book bag. These are so useful for doing your supermarket shopping, for going to the shops, doing clothes shopping, you know, whatever really. They're, you know, super reusable and, uh, you know, super stylish at the same time. You can make them in a plain design or you could add some kind of different trim to them like Rick Rack, you could add ribbon, you could uh, add buttons on there, you could put a zip on, you could leave it open at, at the top, you could add different handles, you could make the handles out of the same fabric, whatever you fancy really. I think this could be a really stylish project that you know you can make as complicated or as simple as you'd like it to be. All you really need to make a book bag is a sewing machine and some fabric and thread, of course. I am gonna put a couple of links below to different projects that I found online, which you can whip up in about 30 minutes. Idea number seven is to make yourself a gorgeous festive cushion for the house. Of course, this could be used in any room in the house and it really would brighten up any room, I think. I love a festive cushion. I love any kind of home furnishing like that, to be honest, at any time of the year. If you are a knitter, then Hobbycraft in the UK have got a fantastic free template um, package that you can download to make yourself a regular cushion that's got a lovely bow design on the front of it which looks a little bit like a Christmas present. I'm not actually a knitter myself but if I was I would definitely be downloading that tutorial and making up that cushion because it just looks fantastic. 
If you are a sewer and you're looking for that kind of quick sewing fix and you wanted to make yourself some kind of festive sewing cover, then again, the Stitch Sisters have put out a, a lovely tutorial with templates that you can download for free, which is, a, a, again, a regular kind of cushion cover size, a sort of a square cushion cover that's got, a, again, a lovely bow on the front of it, which again, looks like a gorgeous present that someone's giving you. To be honest, I think this could be used at any time of the year rather than just for Christmas. If you were to make it in some kind of festive fabric, then of course that is Christmassy and you just bring it out over the festive period. But if you were to make it in some other kind of fabric, you know, perhaps a floral with a nice bow on the front or something like that, it could be used in, in, in any room at any time of the year instead. Idea number eight is to make a personalised tea towel. Now that probably seems a little bit random, but I was thinking tea towels are that kind of boring thing that you have in the kitchen. There's something practical that we need, but why can't they be pretty and something that we actually enjoy seeing around instead? So I was thinking we could personalise them by adding on applique initials, you could sew on someone's name, you could sew on some rickrack, some buttons, some ribbon. You can make them as pretty as you'd like them to be depending on how creative you're feeling. If you were wanting to follow a template or a pattern instead, then Prima magazine have actually got a really cute jug design which you can download. I'm going to put that link below. You can literally take a plain tea towel and change it up so that it looks like it's really stylish and perhaps you bought it from some fancy shop but actually you've made it yourself at home. Package it up with a nice bow on and hey presto you've got yourself a lovely gift. There's also lots of inspiration for this project that can be found on Pinterest as well. You've got vintage designs on there, you've got floral designs, you've got pretty much any design that you can think of. So I am going to put some links below to Pinterest pages that I've found as well that I think look really pretty, really sweet and I think you're going to love them. If you aren't someone that enjoys sewing or crafting, perhaps you enjoy baking instead. Now baking is something else that I absolutely love. It's something that I love doing in my spare time. I find it really relaxing. So if you're one of those people and you enjoy giving baked goods for people for Christmas instead, why not make a gingerbread house? That probably sounds a little bit complicated. I know you can often buy kits for these in the supermarket, but I think having a go at making one yourself and perhaps decorating it with your children or your grandchildren is just a lovely personal gift that I think anyone would love to receive. I know I certainly would. I found a lovely recipe for this online, which I think is gonna be really useful if you were looking to do this type of project. It's by Paul Hollywood from the Great British Bake Off and it looks fairly simple its construction. I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually had a go at this yet, but it is something that I would like to try if I've got time before Christmas. Gingerbread is one of those things that just kind of sings out that it's for Christmas time for me and I love eating it, so why not have a go at making it? And I think decorating it could be just a, a lovely activity to do on a rainy afternoon when it's a little bit cold and blustery outside and you kind of can't be bothered to do anything else. So why not stay inside, bake and ice yourself a Christmas themed house. Now my final idea for today's video, idea number 10, is to make yourself a cover for your teapot or your coffee pot. Now most of us do enjoy a lovely tea or a coffee sitting down in front of the TV, um, drinking a tea or a coffee with your laptop or you know when you're at work or whatever you, you may be doing, having a lovely cover for one of your pots could be a, a great gift for anyone. Tea cozies are really easy to make, they don't take a lot of fabric and they can look really pretty as well. I think you can be as creative or not as you'd like to be with this project. You could do a quilted cover if you'd like to, you could again add lots of different um, accessories to your, your teapot or your coffee pot like buttons again, rick rack, ribbon, you know whatever you fancy to make it as um, you know pretty or you know change up the design however you fancy. If it was me making this project I'd use a lovely bright material because I think it'd really brighten up my kitchen and it'd be something that your eyes are drawn to every time you know you're, you're wanting to um, make a cup of tea and you think great this time I'm not going to make a cup I'm going to make a pot and I'm going to use my lovely cover if you are fancy making a tea cozy for someone for Christmas this year of course you could use a festive fabric if you'd like to I think you could probably make this out of you know one or two fat quarters if you have those in your stash or perhaps you wanted to buy a couple of fat quarters from your local craft shop the website gathered have got a great tutorial of how to make a tea cozy so I'm going to link that one below for you if tea is not your thing and you're, you're more of a coffee drinker, then why not make yourself a cafetiere cover instead? You could even put an applique mug design on there if you'd like to and make it really personalised for someone. You could sew on someone's name, 
could sew on someone's initials, whatever you fancy really. If you are looking for a template for that one, then Sew Magazine have got a lovely template that you can download and instructions to follow. So I promised you a discount code for fabric postage and packing from Crafty Sew and Sew earlier in this video. So thank you for watching until the end of this video to find out what that code is. I'm a big fan of Crafty Sew and Sew fabrics. I buy a lot of my fabrics from there. I'm always really pleased with the quality of things that, that I receive and the service is always fantastic as well. Um, Crafty Sew and Sew are moving out of their Leicester based shop in the UK and they're moving to a new studio space, which is really exciting. I think they've got lots of um, you know good plans for the future in terms of in-person workshops when they're allowed again, online workshops, and of course they're continuing to sell all of their fabrics online as well. So I would recommend you checking those out if you um, um, you know are looking for some fabric at the moment. So the code needs to be used by the 22nd of November 2020 and it is SEND SUPPLIES that's all in uppercase capital letters SEND SUPPLIES so and that's going to get you free postage and packing in the UK for orders of fabrics and other supplies from Crafty So and So. So I hope you enjoy using that one and that that's useful for you. I hope you really enjoyed watching today's video and my ideas have been useful for your Christmas gift planning this year. If you have enjoyed watching then please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to hear what you're making for Christmas this year, if you have made any gifts for people already and if you think that you know there's something that I would enjoy making myself please do leave me a comment below. I do love to hear from you and I'm really inspired about what you're making and you know I'd love it if you got in touch. But until next time I shall leave it there and say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!